So I'll listen through as we perform uh, Miss T by Ella. And then if there are places to smooth it out, I would point it out as we go. All right, all the best. Yeah, thank you. Look at me. That I noticed that you need to correct quickly. One of them is diction. The ending letters, especially consonants in your pronunciations, are not well stressed. So you need to, to imagine when you make a performance, don't just think of singing as one um, creative process that people don't even have to listen to the words. They just have to enjoy the sound coming from you. Think of communicating. Imagine you're narrating a story. How much effort you will put into being clear, making sure everybody understands you. You need to bring that uh, same um, creativity into making sure every word comes out complete, comes out fully understandable. Okay, so you were not doing that. Some of the words in really end with your last consonant. So ensure you bring in enough effort into making sure every word comes out clearly as much as possible. Second thing was what is called dynamics. What is dynamics in performance? Dynamics is the ability to change the nuances, the energy level in a song. When you perform on a steady, smooth level of energy, after, after a while, the audience can disconnect because now they got so used to that level. Whether it's so low or it's so high, the human mind gets saturated with that steadiness for a while and they can come out of the flow. So, and that is the need for what is called dynamics. At some point, the volume comes really low at some point, you bring it out. At some point, you change the texture of your voice to be stronger and huskier. At some point, you can make it tinier. All of these changes in nuances and energy level helps to keep the audience attention on you from beginning to end because you keep changing the gear. But as you were performing, I noticed someone who is on a smooth ride. You're just on a smooth energy level. No matter how good it is, after a while, you find your audience uh, getting saturated with that energy level, and they pull out from paying attention to you. And that's the importance of ensuring you apply dynamics in performance. Aside from getting your audience with you, dynamics is the real, is how life is. If you see the way the sun shines at the beginning of the day, it starts very mildly. It starts calmly and then starts to increase towards the afternoon. And as the evening comes, it descends. That's dynamics, the power of change in storytelling. Almost everything in life is that way. You see how children grow up, blossom, look so beautiful, so amazing, they grow into their teenage years, and then as they begin to get to 40, 50, they begin to see wrinkles until they get to 80, 90, 100, and then they shrink. That is the 
sequence of life, that dynamism. So in everything, whether you're telling a story, you're writing a story, you're rapping, you're singing, you're acting, there must be dynamics in progression from one point to the other. You shouldn't keep the energy level static. Because if you're telling a story, for instance, and say, once upon a time, there was a lion and there was a rabbit. The lion was hungry and then went on a search, went on a hunt. You begin to talk about how the lion was running and running. Your energy level when you're describing that iron, the, the lion is running can't be the same when you start and say, once upon a time, there was a lion and a rabbit. Won't be when you say, and the lion was running and running and running. The energy with which you tell that part, obviously, will be stronger. And then by the time you come to the part where it's devouring and eating up the rabbit, that's like the climax of your story, isn't it? That's like the climax of it. Let's say you now progress in your story and say, at some point, the other rabbit watching from afar how they feel. You're describing how they watch one of them being killed and torn apart. You don't, do you require so much energy in telling that part of the story that they were watching and crying and crying? You don't say that because it's an emotional part. That is how a fantastic story is. So when you are make, when you're doing a performance, you need to mark your emotional levels. You need to mark your energy level from one line to the other. Okay, in this line, this is how I would interpret it. This is the level of dynamics I'm bringing in. At this line, I'm going to climax. At this point, I'll bring it to the middle level. At this point, I bring it really low. At this point, I bring it up again. That marking you put into every line of your performance is what is called dynamics marking. And it is what makes a performance memorable. Okay? So you're going to take it again now with your different markings across different lines. I want to see the energy changing from one point to the other, okay? Thank you. 